to Autonomy CEO Corner. I'm your host, Dennis Dicker. Let's get started, shall we? Happy Friday, everybody. Today is August 12, 2022, and we finally got our web update to live. I'm very happy about that. The iPhone and Android updates are coming up in the coming week. Please stand by on that, but it it should have all the updates that are currently on web, which we previously went over, such as the calendar updates. And we've covered the many features in the Autonomy application, including a smart map, direct messaging through chat on the left side, creating omni channels by simply going to your team and clicking on create a channel, group messaging, which is just a channel but by inviting people. And you can do that by clicking the I in the top right and then clicking members or the button to add a user. You can only add members or users of the application or anybody outside the application to an invite only or a closed omni channel. If it's a public channel, anyone can join. Uh, and we'll get a little go into that a little bit more. Within each channel, you have the calendar, which we've been improving week by week. As you can see, there are more details on how to navigate the act, the calendar. If you're in a specific channel, you're only going to see the calendar um, things that are on the calendar for that channel because you'll be you're you're able to um, have a calendar for each channel on the fly. So you can, for example plan a dinner event and invite people into the channel, create a, a, a calendar event for that dinner activity, invite everyone, those that can't join, you can have a conference call, video call, uh, everyone can get reminders to join a specific location, all up to your imagination. When creating a calendar, the improvements here are definitely just being able to quickly choose an event type. So for example, grocery store, as you can see, it quickly populated to the name and description of the event. From there, we can um, easily assign the event to anybody or ourself. And from there, you can uh, choose the time and any reminders that you would like. One of the great features that I like about these activities is the forms you're able to access forms related to an activity or channel on the fly without actually going into the channel, all right? So now we're, we're kind of creating a, um, a screen in front of the channels where those that are unable to access the channel, we can give them a form or something or anything of the like to complete where they probably won't see the completed form. Uh, if they're not, not at a specific location or uh, anything um, along those lines. If a form is associated with a channel uh, and is part of an event, the person can, the person that is assigned to the event can access the form without going into the channel. And the reason why it's like that is because, say for example, a plumber or a DSP wants to provide a service, but the form is only accessible um, maybe at the main office. If the form is attached to an event or activity where the person is, the um, plumber or the DSP is supposed to fill it out, they can access that form and complete it. All right. The additional features that we've gone over in the past are the calling, the video conference calling and screen sharing. Those features are improved upon. Please check them out. Each Omni channel has file storage where you can store anything. Believe it or not, you can store anything. We're increasing the number of PDF files that can be uploaded. You have your form library where forms that are submitted can be downloaded by PDF. And that last but not least, the main great feature is the electronic visit verification. All right. Um, and today we're going to go, we're going to look into the different types of administrative codes in your state. It's very important that you understand the, the administrative codes because it's different. It's different for each state. Okay. And from a high level, 
they do follow the 1915C um, waiver, but again, each state could have old regulations. By simply searching code in the autonomy application, you can start to find regulations within your state. Right now, we have the California Code of Regulations, Colorado Administrative Code, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland. And we have some other building codes for builders as well as other providers that are looking to offer some type of residential services, which help more people uh, live a more independent life. All right, so I want you to see how it's all coming together in the autonomy application, helping builders as well as providers understand the regulatory landscape so they can be in compliance all the time. If a contractor is able to quickly see the regulations required for a group home, they can uh, have it documented uh, ongoing in the autonomy application when that uh, fix was made when it was um, installed, etc. All right. So we're, we let's quickly go through some uh, types of codes uh, in different counties, uh, in different states uh, that could govern uh, some of the regulations that are required for your services. And uh, for example, in Philadelphia. In many counties, they have specific codes for different types of businesses uh, or products. So we do have some of those codes in the autonomy application where you, where you can check them out. For example, tire dealers or ways of landlord tenant complaints. Uh, you're able to uh, view those and read those and possibly... Um, share those with uh, tenants or if you have any questions, this is a good place to really look. All right. A quick reference guide all in one place. That's kind of an alternative to Google. All right. For providers, it's important that you understand your administrative codes. Okay. When, when talking to third parties or anybody outside your organization, you can be asked questions related to your business at any time. If you don't understand or um, show any type of uh, misunderstanding or that you do not uh, know what's needed to run your business, you will be discredited instantly. So it's important to know those administrative codes within your state so you know how your business is supposed to run. If you show any indication that you don't know the details of your business and how to run it, you will get discredited by a state official, by a family member, by a support coordinator, anybody along those lines. So in autonomy, as you scale, you'll get more and more questions related to your business. So that is why we have the actual administrative code in the application. So you or a staff member can quickly search, or if you have um, some type of question from the state, they will always refer to the administrative code so you can see clearly what is required, all right? Um, so please check out the administrative codes within your state so you can better understand the regulatory landscape, the compliance requirements of your business as you scale. As a small organization, it'll be easy to miss some of these regulations, but you'll definitely be looked at as you grow and as you provide more services. For example, in Pennsylvania, there's an administrative code where if you generate more than $500,000 in a year, you must get an audit. All right. Um, so that is an administrative code requirement in order to continue providing services uh, uh, under the waivers, under Medicaid waivers in Pennsylvania. So you can see the different types of codes here. I believe we have about 10 uh, right now. There are more to be added, but we do have about 10 right now and more, more being added. All right. 
thank you all for uh, checking out the administrative codes on this CEO call. Please learn more and ask questions in the channels if you choose. You can cho you can ask questions directly in a channel related to a um a service code. You can since it's a public channel, again you can invite other people or you can. Uh, Ask them to find the channel and you all can have the discussion in there. All right. Thank you. We have ways to get started. You can really understand all the great features of the autonomy application and the different industries it can be applied to. You can also learn more about um, how we got here, things like that, and our growing marketplace. We have Integrative Human Services, Care in Minds, Helping Hands Health. Emerge Community Services, Trinity Health and Home, We Care Support Services, Hortus Health, Independence Fits You, Tandem Community Care, Inspire Home and Health, Pro Social Services. There are many more. Thanks for watching, everybody.